All right. With that being said, I need to call this meeting to order. If we could all rise for Pledge of Allegiance. Um, all council members are present, minus Councilman Collison. He is ill and did notify myself. Uh, do I have a motion to adopt the agenda? Make a motion to adopt. Second. I have a motion to adopt the agenda by Councilman Lundeen and a second, second by Councilman Bergley. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries 4-0. Uh, approving the city council minutes for September 3rd, 2019. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councilman Bergley. Second it. Second by Councilman Gordon. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries 4 0. Announcements Park, Recreation, and Culture Board meeting Tuesday, September 24th at 6 p.m. City Council meeting Tuesday, October 1st at 7 p.m. with an EDA meeting uh, immediate, immediately following the Council meeting Tuesday, October 1st as well. We didn't have any council committee reports. I understand, correct, Ms. Wood? All right, moving on to the business items. Toward zero deaths, presentation for my Sandy County Public Health Sarah model. Did I say that right? Yes. Sweet. Glad I checked with Katie before this. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I wasn't there the last time I saw you. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. Well, good evening. Um, and I just want to um, say thank you to the City Council first and foremost for your support and participation in the Tor Isani County Towards Zero Death Coalition. Uh, the um, I've just a just kind of want to give a background to the council on what Minnesota towards zero death is, what we're doing as a region, and then more specifically what we've been doing here locally as well. Um, I know there's some newer people on the council, and so this may be one of the first times that you've heard about towards zero deaths, but we have been in the county for almost 15 years now. And so um, the Minnesota towards zero death is basically um, a goal to have in our state zero traffic related fatalities in a year and we work on this through the four E's um, which is law enforcement so we have participation from Isani PD, Cambridge PD, Bram PD, the Isani County Sheriff's Office and um, they do mobilizations and campaigns almost every month focusing on a specific topic. So just yesterday, the September mobilization started and that is focusing on seat belts and child restraints. So they get a little bit of extra hours to have extra patrol focusing on those infractions. Um, the second E, engineering, road, so that'd be road design, traffic control, signs, lights, road assessments, uh, things along those lines. And then emergency medical services, so making sure that we have quick and advanced life-saving technology that is able to get to these incidences quickly so everyone in our county has um, a chance um, if there is an incident. And then education, which is where public health comes in a little bit more, um, the education and promotion of positive behaviors such as wearing seatbelts, distracted, not driving distracted, um, using proper child passenger safety restraints, not driving impaired, information on new laws and guidelines such as the new hands-free law that just passed in August. And uh, let's see, on the back of this one, um, Minnesota started their towards zero death program in 2003. So the line separating the blue and the orange, um, you can, and you can see that 
there has been a significant decline in traffic fatalities since 2003 when Minnesota started their towards zero death program and Isani County was one of the first uh, recipients of the grant. It used to be hosted with the East Central Regional Development Authority, uh, but their uh, grant coordinator retired in 2017 and nobody wanted to take over the grant. So in 2017 is when public health, when we took over the grant. So we've had it since 2017, but it's been around for almost 15, for about 15 years. Um, and so um, regionally, so we are the East Central region, as usual. Um, and so, again, really just focusing on trying to decrease the number of traffic fatalities in our county. And um, you can see the leading causes of traffic fatalities in our region is lack of seatbelt use, impaired driving, speed and aggressive driving, and inattentive driving. And you can kind of see on the graph too, it compares our fatalities and serious injuries compared to other counties in the region as well, um, kind of in the middle. Um, so the, so I say any, so fatalities is the blue line and serious injuries is the red. Yep. <laughs> Sterns and right are the worst. Yes. Another one there that. Sherburn. Yep. Stern and right. Yes. Yep. That is Can I Yes, yeah, so last night I was at the Cambridge City Council meeting talking about TZD as well, um, and that was brought up was, why is Canabic so much lower than us? And I don't know the answers to exactly why, but my guess would be their population density is not gonna be the same as ours with our Cambridge and Isani kind of population oh, density. Yeah. And then we also have a lot more commuters that drive longer distances every single day versus Maybe we're just a little County. more popular, Sarah. <laughs> that too. Um, um, from, okay, one second, I got it. White average was 92.4%. Um, there's been a 42% reduction Let's in see. the number of traffic deaths since 2003. 20%? 42%. Yes. Um, and then this is the strategic plan for East Central Region. So increase regional seatbelt use. Our, our county isn't too bad for the seatbelts, but region, for the region, we're lower than the state average. So increasing that seatbelt usage. Um, and just continuing to decrease the traffic fatalities, basically. Yeah, our county is pretty good overall. I'm sure the police chief will. Okay. <laughs> he is over there. He's hiding. Yes, he didn't want to present with me. Because we make him present so. enough, Sarah. That's why. <laughs> um, He's a wise observer. Yes. Yes. So um, that's kind of a little bit about the region. And then locally here, so what the Towards Zero Death Coalition, here in Isani County, we meet every other month as a committee with different stakeholders. So all the law enforcement agencies, school districts, um, we have Judge Amy Brosnahan, um, elected officials, community ed. We've got some students from one of the high schools. Uh, we all come together and go over different statistics, see what's going on in the county, different things along those lines. Um, and then we also, every quarter, we have what's called a 
Fatality and Serious Injury Review Committee. So we review all of the fatal and serious injury crashes that happened within our county. And looking through the lens of those four E's again, the law enforcement, EMS, engineering, and education, um, what could maybe have been done to prevent this from happening. I mean, we do have a lot of um, impaired driving incidents that we have in our county, and so those are hard. Um, we can continue to provide the education and then have our partnership with Safe Ride with some of the bars. Um, but so, yeah, drugs or alcohol usually impaired driving. Um, but other, but we also look at the road conditions and traffic and different um, traffic signals, and is there other things that could be done? So, an example would be the fatal crash that we had um, outside of Menards in Cambridge not too long ago um, at that traffic intersection. And then they changed the traffic light so that there's no longer the left turn yield on green. It's either a protected left turn or a solid red. So people aren't trying to make that more risky um, left turn um, at that intersection anymore. Did you say, Sarah, that you are educating businesses and, and meaning bars as well? Yes. So that's something we actually just talked about at our last meeting um, with uh, about like last place of drink and safe um, beverage servers. And the city of Cambridge just recently changed their tobacco license ordinance, I guess, that in order for businesses when they renew their liquor license, they have to prove that all of their servers have been trained in uh, responsible beverage serving, so not over serving. Um, and so they have to provide that proof every time they um, renew their liquor license, otherwise it will be denied. I think that's something this uh, council should take in consideration. I don't think the police chief would mind that either. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yep, and some, so some other activities that we do as a coalition, we assist with the mock car crash that we do at the high schools in the spring, and we had an impact speaker last year that went over really well, so we're looking at having another impact speaker again this next spring to, um, at the high school and doing education throughout the community at different community events uh, every month. Chief Baumgard from Bram is on Quebec Radio talking about some sort of traffic safety topic, usually around whatever the enforcement mobilization is for that month. And then at community events and throughout the schools um, are different things that we work on locally here. So. We need to get our police chief on board with some of that. Well, he attends Should... our meetings every other I mean, month. like on the radio or something there, chief. No. <laughs> <laughs> you do... <laughs> wow I was going to say you had a radio voice is what I was going to say uh, yeah. yes the J turn so that was also another thing we talked about at our last meeting um, and it sounds from what I remember from that meeting is that there have been a lot of crashes at that new J term, but J turn, not J term, J turn, but there have been no serious injuries and no fatalities, just property damage crashes. But we did talk about that, that you guys are um, putting one in next summer, I believe, was what I was told. Um, if they weren't going to get done by summer, then yeah. Mayor and Council, there is, a, there is a chance that that could be done yet this fall. We will look, no, hopefully next week. Okay, and so we did talk about different um, education that we should be working on to put out prior to or like while it's going on to let people know how to safely navigate it. Uh, we have a retired Minnesota State Patrol on our coalition and he teaches the 55 Alive classes uh, for the older adults for the insurance. And he had specifically talked about um, including that into his classes to help those adults as well figure out how to navigate those turns. Right. Viking. 
Viking Boulevard. Yes. Yep. Well, Councilman Bergley, that's why that's Anoka County and we're Isandy County. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep. So that's what I had been told uh, was that there have been a lot of crashes, but no serious injuries, no fatalities, just property damage. Yes. And then we also did talk about the new intersection in Bram as well, and that has not had any um, traffic accidents since that has been fully completed as well so yeah yeah i would agree uh, my question is is how do we how do we get the city of i sandy i mean if you needed or we needed to get involved or you needed something or i i would be on board to definitely jump in something your program mm -hmm. needs okay yeah we so can... definitely reach out to miss wood or yep. i have cards in the hallway you can grab my card and all right and uh we <laughs> You know, we would definitely, uh, I, I'm all for this zero death thing here. I like the signs on the side of the freeway. I always read them every time <laughs> I drive down the road. Yep. Distracted driving. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Reading street signs, distracted driving. All righty then. All right. Any other questions? Any questions by the council? Yeah, I know what you're doing. No questions? Thank you, Sarah. Right, thanks, Sarah. With that being said, we'll move on to a approving the consent agenda. Approving it? A motion to approve. Second. I have a motion by Councilman Lundin to approve the consent agenda and a second by Councilman Bergley. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion, motion carries 4-0. Motion to adjourn by Councilman Bergley. I'll second it. A second by Councilman Gordon. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries 4-0. Therefore, we stand adjourned.